Yo, yo, it's for Fairy. Hey, you've ever heard the phrase, Mommy, why can't we have nice things? <laughs> it's because the kids play with them and destroy them or have more questions. Don't experiment with anything because every time you do, you have more questions. This is a spine tester. It's a very nice thing. My buddy Chris Melton let me borrow it. It is a Coops Bo Smith spine tester. Something I've been wondering about. <sighs> I have more questions. It sucks. Stay tuned. <laughs>
read stiff on a spine tester. Here's the results of that. This is a shaft, bare shaft, with an insert installed and a knock just for fun, but the rollers will hit right here, so the knock won't be on the rollers. Still gotta do that. Scale zeroed. That's super interesting. With the insert in the end of it, I'm rolling the shaft. Two point three three, so it's a little, it's a little stiffer with the insert in the end of the arrow. So it's on the roller. Knock's not on the roller. And we got 233. So this is why you don't test stuff and you don't give Troy cool toys to ask questions and wonder about stuff. The full length without in without accessories and the one cut off 28 and a half inches long without accessories just the shaft spined out at the same okay i actually expected the shorter one to spine a little stiffer because it has less flex area but i was wrong about that and that is okay this is why you check things like this however the shaft with a knock and an insert like you would shoot through your bow spined stiff for those of you who don't know what it's talking about there um it's a 250 spine arrow so if it's spined more towards 300 like a 260 or 270 that's soft because you're bending the arrow and then this one spined around 230 that means it's not bending as much and it's stiffer it's more towards a 200 spine arrow so that means that at least i think it means so leave comments below some of you guys are probably really good at this I, I i don't know everything this is why i do stuff i just do stuff and i go huh i don't understand that i do understand that the front of this is stiffer right there so it changes the flex point i think that's what it is however what i can't get past is this is the arrow i'm gonna i'm gonna shoot so if in fact this shaft spines stiff because of the insert and it exactly replicates the arrow that i would shoot hunting 3d whatever flinging around then that means it's stiffer than a 250 which is fine but it also going back to the branch ferry test kits or finding some methodology around testing spine when you shove it so that's dynamic spine. This is static spine. This is a test where it's just, you set it in the machine and, and it tells you a number. However, when you shove it this way, and this thing says it's stiff, I think it just means because of the insert system, it's stiffer. But I don't know. It does, um, <laughs> there's so much going on in my head right now. I can't even, I don't even know what to say. So I'm not going to say anything. All I can tell you is once you change the shaft from a hollow tube to one with an insert in it, it's spined stiff. And stiffer arrows are not a bad thing if they fly. They're a little stiffer on impact. They tend to fly broadheads better. I've actually tested that. I had a test kit where I had 300s and 250s and my bow is only 65 pounds so I'm right on the verge of needing a 250 once I get over 250 grains up front so one day I went out by myself because I wonder about these things and I got a 300 spine which is lower grains per inch to bear shaft perfect 
with 200 grains up front and 100 grains there. So 300 up front, and I went, Shazam! I got more FOC, and I wanted to play with that and see if the increase in FOC with a little bit of drop in mass weight of the shaft down from a 250, that's a grain or so, but it's, it's something, right? You're going to get free FOC, theoretically. I had fletched arrows when I did this test. I got the bow to shoot a 300 bear shafts, you know, six or seven yards. And I grabbed a fletched arrow and put a broadhead on it. I put on the Ranch Ferry single bevel. And about, I get, when I'm shooting broadheads with fletched arrows, I get back at 30 or 40 because it shows more variability. So if you're going to do broadhead flight testing, I recommend getting back. You know, throw out the bad shots and the bad releases. It's not 70, but 30 and 40 tend to show more variability from the arrow flight. And then you kind of know when you jerk one. So it is what it is. And <clears throat> the 300 spine arrow would shoot doot doot. And then one would just drift off. It wasn't six inches. It was two. But it was just like, that was a pretty good release, you know? And it would just kind of wander. And my groups were probably that big. So I'd have two like this. And one would just shoot over here. I don't know. Size of a tennis ball at 30 or 40 and I was like okay it just didn't feel right if you shot a bow enough you kind of know like did you kind of know when that arrow should have gone and you get two that go just right and then you get this one that's just kind of like nah I'm gonna go over here and freelance a little bit and I was just about to pull my hair out because it bear shafted but remember I said I'm 65 pounds I'm right on the verge and the only re reason I know that is because of this test I grabbed a 250, it was fletched, put the broadhead on, and they went, and they shot really accurately. And when I made a mistake, they made a mistake, but they didn't make a mistake just freelancing or deciding to, you know, do their own thing and have their own personality. So back to this spine test thing, it appears, and I'm gonna keep digging into this a little bit deeper, that when you add the components, the spine goes out the window. It appears to go stiff. This is one test. This is not the gospel. I don't really know if I'm right or wrong. All I know is what the machine said. And I did it three or four times. And the component bear shaft was always stiffer. And I'm going to get some comments and people are going to say, well, yeah, dumbass, it's got a goddamn insert in it. Well, okay, sir, ma'am. If you pick your shafts off of a spine chart, which, by the way, they're all guessing, um, then you need to know that when you add the components, your calculation off the spine chart is fooey, also known as incorrect, if I'm right. But by making the comment in the section below, and some of my followers that are smart asses and sarcastic will make this point just to be... You know, they're playing along. But if you're kind of hating on me saying, this guy's an idiot because, duh, everybody knows it stiffens up with the, with the stupid inserts. Great. I'm glad you said that. You need to be a little more philosophically strong because you've just admitted that the spine chart's wrong and you will use the spine chart or some weird calculator on the internet that's totally guessing and says that every 70-pound bow is the same. <laughs> they are not. And yet, if you are correct, and this is the reason it's marking stiff, then you are not shooting the spine that you say you are. It's a total guess. I think. If you say that in the comments, then yes. I don't know. This is one of those things that sucks. Don't be curious. Don't get nice things. Because when you get nice things and your head starts going and you want to know the answers, you often, as Ed says, every test means you have more questions than answers when you're done. Stay tuned. There'll be more videos like this. I'm going to do a lot of arrow stuff this, uh, this year. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, that is fine. If you choose not to, I don't care. 
move on, you know, whatever. It doesn't matter to me. I'm trying to put out the best information to create lethal hunting platforms for you to whack and be very efficient in the woods. So I appreciate you watching. If you subscribe, great. And as I said, if you don't, that's great. It's a free country. Do whatever you want. Stay tuned. See ya. Thank you.